What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barn on 11970. And as always, thank you very much for checking out my video. All right, guys. Um, one of my subscribers, I actually subscribed to him. He seems like to be a very decent fellow. Uh, his name is Andrew, and his YouTube channel is The Logic Only Zone. And he asked me a question, and I think it's one that is uh, something I can make a video about and talk about. And um, basically, I saw his last couple of videos, and you could see certain things are getting to him. Um, I've been there. For those of you who've been following me for a while, and know my old channel, Barn on 11967. When you first start learning what's going on, and you get to the beginning stages of learning that things are not what they seem, you learn that the governments around the world are corrupt, the corporations around the world are greedy, the banks are the ones that are really in control, the media is manipulated, and lots of other things. It could be like any kind of new experience. It could be frightening. It could be overwhelming. It could be depressing. It could even make you angry. So I've been there, and I understand that. And he basically asked me a question of, how do I deal with adversity? How do I deal with all these things and still maybe maintain my sanity or just being able to get past it and move on. How do I do that? Well, the one thing I could tell people is this is not an easy thing for me to do. And I'm sure other people who've been through it can understand. Because for one for a person to be able to handle adversity, it most likely means they've had to have been through adversity. And all through my life, since I was probably the age of ten, I've had to deal with tragedies in my life, losses in my life, having to grow up at an early age to be able to handle what potentially has become my future, or even just my present. And experience is what creates wisdom. And being able to handle things that you're familiar with comes from time and time again, having to deal with adversity. So I am no stranger to adversity. I'm, I'm no stranger to pain. I'm no stranger to bad situations. Now, the way I manage my life is I've come to the conclusion that you cannot control outside of your own realm. Sometimes it's difficult to even control inside your own realm. But if you spend your whole life trying to fix everything and think that it will never affect you, you're going to be in for a very long, bumpy ride. So I've had, I've dealt with adversity all my life. I've dealt with pain. I've, I've dealt with loss. And there's an old saying that says, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, I've had deaths in my family. I've had problems with family members. Well, they weren't really family members. They could have been if they, the people would have gotten married, but people with alcoholism, abandonment, a lot of, a lot of things in my life. Now, I'm not saying this stuff to have anybody say, woe is me. I'm very proud of the way I've dealt with things in my life because you're responsible for what you do and don't do. And it's always easy to pass the buck. In other words, say, woe is me. The reason things are happening is because certain situations happen. Like, for example, somebody could say, well, my grandfather was an alcoholic and he beat my father who became an alcoholic who beat me. And now I have to do it because this is the way life is. No, it's not. Everything is a choice. What I did in my life is I learned from whatever for whatever reason, I can't understand how I did it at such an early age. From the age of 10 years old, I got it. I was an adult at 10. But I understood that there are two choices in life when bad things happen. You could feel sorry and angry for yourself, or you can use whatever situation happened and turn it into something good, anything. 
And then it has a purpose. And it's just like anything in life. You can learn from anything, whether it's good or bad. It's all your focus. Because if you see negativity, if you see pain, if you see adversity for what it is, what it really is, what's behind the curtain, it's life's way, excuse me, of saying, here's a problem. We want to see how you're going to deal with it. What's your perspective of it? What can you bring to the table that is different? Can you take a bad situation and run with it and turn it into something good? Can you laugh in the face of danger? It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. But it's not okay to let it dictate your future and dictate where you're going to go. So I've been through a lot of things in my life. And I've learned through experience from time and time again being challenged that you can be depressed, you can give up, you can lose hope, you can be angry, you can lash out, or you can take the best out of the situation, learn from it, and turn it into something as good as possible from your own point of view. And that doesn't mean if outside influences try and hurt you, that you turn around and try and turn them into angels. And I think that was the last thing I needed to learn. Because I had this sneaking suspicion that there is good in everyone. And dealing with some of the people who have issues with what I talk about, what I represent, what I sell, I thought if I communicated with these people as human beings... I could get that kind of response back. And sadly, that is not always the case. Not everyone is good. So I had to learn by challenging the very people that would try and dictate what I do in my life and how I react to things in life. Bringing that all on to me at full force and realizing into myself that sometimes... A dead end is just a dead end. And if you keep trying to find a different way out of a dead end by heading towards that wall, it doesn't matter how many different techniques you use. Sometimes you just have to realize it's time to about face and go to a different way. It's the same thing with wars. Sometimes you have to lose a battle and know when to retreat to come back stronger, learning from your mistakes so you can win the war. And we as good, faring people, caring people, we are trying so desperately to save this world from the corruption that we know about. And we find more and more people challenge us for it and hate us for it. And they're afraid of us for it. There are some that take the easy path because it's easy to say, here's a bunch of money. Go hurt those people. Go stop those people. It's our choice to let it affect us. And unless this world realizes that we are all human beings and we are all going to live and die as one, that until we unify and learn the bigger picture and see things for what they are, things are only going to get worse because we allow it to through our consent. It's all about consent. And this is why I've been trying to warn people about the fact that masters of manipulation of societies and, and this planet for generations have turned truth into belief, which means whether you believe or not believe, you are taking your inner trust and your inner sanction, your temple, because these are your temples. This is your temples. That's why you travel up the Jacob ladder into the land of God, which is called pineal, your pineal gland. And instead, we go outside of it and seek elsewhere. And we believe or we don't believe instead of knowing and searching. There are good people and there are bad people. Do you know why the bad people tend to win? Because they're united. 
And I saw that with myself when I had to deal with all of these people that ganged up against me. But here's the thing I'm most proud of. They've been at me for years. I know some of them by heart at this point. And they gathered around to try with the sole purpose of scaring me away. And they failed. And they will always fail. Now, that's not to challenge them. It's to let them know, well, let myself know, of how proud I am that me as an individual, a soul warrior, faced the wrath of lots of people trying to hurt me. And I succeeded in allowing myself to not give up. And that doesn't mean they won't continue to try. That doesn't mean they won't find new ways to try and hurt me. If there are evil people that find pleasure in hurting other people, then I question their integrity and their judgments no longer concern me. But I am able to deal with it because I realize I standing as one was able to withstand a bombardment of cruelty and evil and judgment from people gathered together to hurt. That's true strength. And that's what none of them will ever do on their own. They can't. So evil, negativity, people who do wrong, they're united because they need each other to formulate courage. And that's why you'll always see the hero standing alone against an endless supply of villains. But the good guy tends to win. And even if he doesn't, he goes down fighting as many powers that he can and stops as many as he can by himself. Now, I'm no Superman. I'm no hero. I'm just a person who cares enough to try and do the right thing. That doesn't mean everything I do is right. But it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about me, just like it should not matter what anybody else thinks about you. And if you want to make something in this world, you do everything in your power and you lose the fear and you trust in your heart that, you know what, when you do the right thing, evil will come and find you. And they will have to gang up in numbers to try and stop you alone. And that's where we have the power if we ever organized and unified. Because it takes a lot of negativity to be able to feed something that's good. It takes a lot of darkness to block out the light. But it only takes a little bit of light to shine through the darkness. So just imagine if the people of light, people of goodness, people who care, people who want truth, people who are trying to better themselves, all worked together and said, here is my shining light. Now take your darkness and try and put out my fire. But they're organized and we're not. Evil wins, not because it's meant to. Evil wins because we feel we do not have the power to stop them. Or we don't think we should stop them. Or we don't think it's worth stopping them. It's always a choice. And until people realize that today is the day I make the stand and I don't join the ranks of evil, I learn a better way, but I stand tall. I stand proud. I know that I'm going to be bombarded with evil. And I will still come out on top. They can take everything away. But that they cannot take what's inside you unless you let them. Material things come and go. They can always be replaced. But your heart is what keeps you alive. It keeps you feeling and caring. Don't ever let them destroy that. Because they can't unless you let them. So everything is boiled down to a choice. And if you want to be defeated, you will be defeated. If you want to stand tall, you're going to face more adversity than you could ever probably imagine. But you can handle it if you're strong. Evil never can work on them by themselves. They need the power of others to make themselves feel justified. And that's why, despite what these people have done, I don't hate any of them. 
I feel sorry for them. They spend their days loving the fact that they're trying to hurt other people. And they tried to hurt my family, people that had nothing to do with what I speak about. And that shows the level of what some people are willing to go to just to hurt, just to prove a point. And we wonder why this world is not going in anywhere that's beneficial right now. It's a choice. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. It happens. It's part of life. It's not okay to let somebody else dictate what you do in your movie, in your amusement park, in your life. And I hope you'll stand up tall. I hope you'll realize that if you see any comic book superhero, they may be praised by the people, but they are hated by the enemy. And they will do everything in their power to try and stop them. That's just the way life is. It's a clash of the titans. I hope that answers the question. And I hope it inspires people. I hope it gets people to realize their true potential. If we have a bunch of individuals here, here, there, there, and everywhere scattered all over the place, we are going to achieve nothing. If we all unite, we could stop all evil without having to hurt anyone. Because let me tell you something. You have a drop of water, it's not going to do anything to you. You add a couple of trillion drops of water, and you have a tsunami, and nothing will stop it. It's your choice. You can be a lone individual drop of water, or you can unite with your fellow brothers, and you can do anything. It just depends on what you want to know. When you're ready to lose the belief, you'll see the difference. And I've gotten to the point where I don't believe I can stand tall. I know I can stand tall because they knocked me to the core by hurting my family. I'm still here. Thanks for watching. Peace.